What's up guys, I just got this new vacuum from Amazon, it's called the X Shui Smart Sweeping Robot and uh, yeah, so I just received it and I'm gonna unbox it real quick for y'all and show y'all all the cool uh, things to do with it and uh, how it works, how to pair it, how to clean it, how to open everything and check up on the stuff and yeah, basically what you need to know all in this one short video so now that I got the box finally opened um, there's a box within another box within another box which is holding the vacuum so it's pretty protected as you can see and uh, there's actually a seal on there that you're supposed to tear off it was actually stuck on I just peeled it off and trying to re-show you all how it, how it looked so um, if that seal is broken, then it'll see it'll say void on the box, and you know to return it or contact the manufacturer. So here we are. Here's the X Shui Smart Sweeping Robot. There's a product manual and a little packing list inside the little packaging. There's also a quick start guide. There's a uh, power adapter to for your uh, charging station here's a battery that was included with the uh, packaging this you'll have to install in your vacuum to make it work it's actually 2200 milliamp hour battery I think it's 14.4 volts and yeah should keep your vacuum on for around two hours the weight of the vacuum it's not that heavy it's just like the weight of my laptop actually or a little bit more than that So as I remove this, it looked really nice and uh, the color combination is pretty nice. There's a button on top where you can press it once to turn it on and off or hold and press it down to go in configuration mode. There's a volume up and down button. There's also on the top, there's a little sensor there, there's a speaker and microphone built in and the camera is also located in the front. Sensors going all around. As you can see, the camera's right in the middle, and a little charging port. There's some more sensors everywhere, on and off button, the QR code to pair it, and a DC in to uh, charge your va vacuum directly. Here's your dustbin, where you can uh, remove it to empty out all the uh, dirt and collections. There's one head sweeper right there, and a little uh, turning wheel, I guess, for the robot. There's also two extra in the packaging for the sweeper edge. And yeah. So the uh, middle rubber, rubber brush and the middle bristle brush are both removable. I'll show you that t towards the end of the video. And uh, yeah, so in the meantime, let's just get rolling. So you take out the little foam stoppers on both sides. And let's check out the new other parts. So that thing is actually a mop. You can attach to the vacuum. Yeah. There's the filter. And there's a clean brush to clean out dustbin, screwdriver that's included. And extra side brushes. Two extra, as a matter of fact, which is pretty nice. Then you have the actual charging station. Everything's packed pretty good and solid, so it's kind of hard to remove. So. But once you remove it, it's all clean and nice and shiny. On top there was the uh, detection thing, I think, for the vacuum. So when you want to send it home through the app, you can just 
it sends a signal to the vacuum from there, I think. And yeah, the two middle prongs on the charging station match up to the main body of the uh, vacuum, and that's how it charges. So that's the mop attachment. It's called the trailing bar assembly. You can pop it in to the back there. You have to have it vertical, as I tried first. But it did not go in, so I have to uh, keep it vertical like that and pop it on both sides. Then you snap it on in the back. And it mops around, I guess, whenever actually, after it vacuums, it mops everything, so. It's a dry mop. And there's two extra uh, squeegeeing things, you know. I'm not sure why, but it's extra cleaning. You got your drop sensors on the side. There's one, two, three, four on the bottom. On and off switch. Be sure to charge your vacuum before using it. I think it's recommended 12 hours. And your dustbin. So you push that button in the back and you gently pull pull the body in and pull it out. Yeah. So this is where all your dust and debris will be collected. All on top in that area right there. Then you pull on that tab to clean the uh, filter. You can pop out the filter and then air, air dust it out, you know, and yeah, should be clean and pop it back in and close it. And the mop is removable. You can pop that back in when you're done. Now we're going to try to install the battery. So what you want to do is you have to remove two screws on the back. There's one, there's two. And then gently pop it out. It's a little cover. There we go. So you want to put the bottom in first and then when you're reinstalling it, you want to pop the bottom in first and then pop the top in. So when you're moving it the same way, take out from the top and pull out from the bottom. So this connector is pretty self-explanatory, it only connects one way. So usually the holes are on top right there and the prongs are on top so you can align them top to top and pull it in. It's kind of hard with one hand to do everything but you can use two hands and easily get it done. There we go, popped in. So that's how it looks once it's already in. So you pop in the battery again, make sure the two tabs are facing outward. Like that, and fold them over kind of. When you, yeah, you push the bottom part in first, and then you put your tabs in, and then you screw them back in. So once you have that screwed in, you can check the power going through. And if the light turns on on the little orange button on top, then it means it's working. It's plugged in correctly. There we go. And your volume up and down.
you want to plug in your charger to the charging station your adapter to your charging station and that's how basically it works you put on a flat wall make sure it's on a flat wall not away from it like in the video right now just for demonstration purposes I put it out but you want to have it flat against the wall and then your vacuum can automatically just go towards it And you can see the two charging pins are connected. So it's charging with the blue light blinking. Now I'm going to show you on iOS how to uh, connect to the app or download the app. So basically you go to your app store, type in Huiba. So you spell Huiba, H-U-I-B-A, then you press enter. And then for your iPad you want to take it off iPad only and put an iPhone because it's only an iPhone app it's only made for iPhone so you click on once you see that symbol click on get or install and it'll ask you for your password or whatnot and then it'll download and it'll say open so you open it like that Select your country, USA, or China, Hong Kong, whatever, wherever you're from. Put in your phone number. That'll be your login information. Your phone number, and it'll ask you for a uh, password to, to make a password. Once you're in, you'll have, so you add a robot. It'll tell you to scan the QR code located on the robot. Once you do that, you want to turn on your robot. Then it'll ask you to enter your phone number and your Wi-Fi information. And after you enter your Wi-Fi information and stuff, it'll be a QR code. You want to put that QR code that's displayed on your iPad or whatever, your iPhone. You want to put it right in front of the camera of the robot and both of them should make a sound. Bling, bling on both and that means it's synced. Then you can connect like I did and the orange screen will pop up and you can actually maneuver around like that. And both microphone and video feed are in there, and it's pretty clear actually, as you can see right in front. Um, there's, actually, there's also a light or IR infrared light, I guess, arc areas. That's why when it goes to close to a cabinet, light light shows up. But in real life, you don't see anything like that with your eyes. There's no light emitting out from the camera area. Yeah, it goes back and forth, zigzags. Um, you can control the direction. You can send it back to the charging station. Um, whenever you're sync, whenever you're connecting your robot to your uh, app, so what you you click on the plus symbol. I forgot to mention, you want to hold down that little orange button on top with a little light on it right there for 5 seconds till it gets in the syncing mode. Then you put the QR code in front of the camera and it will sync in both, both uh, your phone and the robot will make a sound. But yeah, for me it's working well as of now. You can go left, right, up and down. You can manually do everything too, which is pretty cool. There's a mute button. There's a bunch of other commands on there. You can actually tilt the camera up and down, which is pretty neat. So you're tilting the camera up. In the app, there's a lot of other features like um, you can update the uh, robot with the latest firmware or software. So 
so you can update it. You can uh, configure the Wi-Fi by hand. You can, uh, there's different modes of vacuuming. There's an X Smart mode, which is recommended. So that figures out everything for you. you just, yeah, so you just click on the little, uh, your vacuum name, which is, which is your uh, QR code number. Or you can rename that to like my vacuum name in the app and uh, yeah you can also add family members to your app so you can have people like let's say your son or daughter or uh, husband or wife you can add them as a contact in there in the app and they can control the robot too you can manage the members, you can remove, add people. You can also do reservation cleaning within the app, which you can schedule Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or every day. Specify time to clean, AM, PM. Yep, there's a lot of things you can do with this robot. And the cool thing is, once to connect to your Wi-Fi and stuff, once it's connected to your app on your phone, you can be away from home and it'll still connect over your uh, cellular data. Now you might have to pay a fee for that, whatever your plan, or if you have Verizon or you know any other carrier, but um, there's no fee to use the service there that you're buying with your robot. Now in the app, you can, when you're seeing where you can go left and right and stuff like that, up and down, you can, you can also uh, schedule it to clean by pressing the button in the app, to charge, you go back to its home and charge the speed, you can increase the speed or decrease the speed of the vacuum, and you can screenshot or mute the, uh, what the robot is listening to. Works on both tile and carpet. So if you want to clean your robot or to remove the bristles, what you can do is you can, when that's pulled down, that's in the lock position. So you want to pull it up and you want to push, put your, put your nail underneath there, push it up, it'll notch and then pull it up from on the bottom. Yeah, there we go. And you can pull both bristles out one at a time and you can clean all the hair off or whatnot using that scissor take off the hair or you can gently wash it or uh, wipe it with a wet cloth once you clean that those two items I'm just going to show you in this video how to remove it and to put it back together but in reality you want to clean it up every week or so so that little piece comes off it just slips on onto the uh, right hand side like that and on the other side you just wedge it in, push it in, and then you drop it down. Same thing for the big one, get in the groove and then push it down and make sure they turn. And you can lock it. And yeah, you're ready to go. You can take out the dustbin now. And you can clean the dustbin. As you can see for the first clean it actually cleaned a lot of lint and dirt and hair and stuff on my carpet and whoa that was pretty dirty too it cleaned a lot from my carpet I guess and the tiles and stuff so yeah it has a thick layer on top of that filter you can remove the filter outside and clean it up and you can empty the dustbin and put it back in in future updates I do wish there is a uh, disable button for the microphone and video and smart home integration such as IFTTT but overall, it's a great vacuum. Works well for me. Thanks for watching.